Hello everybody and welcome to my video which is going to show you how to share files very fast between two Android devices when you have no cables and no network at all. Um, I'll explain kind of the, maybe a scenario where you might need this and this is my personal scenario why I uh, wanted to do this is because I have a vacation planned and as you know when you go on vacation some places you might not have access to a network particularly your own home network that you're familiar with uh, you might have some hotel network whatever and you don't know whether you can hook things up to pass through that you might be in an airport wherever and anyways I wanted to bring these two devices with me, which on the left is my Samsung uh, Galaxy Tab 3, which has 8 gigabytes of uh, internal memory, and I do not have a memory card in it. On the right, this is um, my phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy Note 2, which has a good amount of internal memory, but it also has a 32 gigabyte external SD card and uh, I have on the SD card some videos and some music and things like that that during the trip I know I'm going to want to share with the tablet on the left so I set out to find a way to do this and I came across what I feel is the best way to do it I found a lot of different ideas which led me to what I finally settled on. And what I settled on is uh, transferring the files utilizing the Wi-Fi on these devices to talk to each other and using an FTP file transfer. And accomplished all this through a software app that you can download right from the Play Store which is called ES File Explorer. I'm going to zoom in on the uh, icon right there. It's a pretty popular file explorer and I've had this file explorer for quite a while on my device but I never really realized the power that this thing has on it until I figured I could use it for this application that we're talking about now which is sharing files between these two devices with no cable and no network. Now, there are, I think there's a lot of things out there in the market that allow you to do this through Bluetooth, um, but Bluetooth is kind of slow and I think Bluetooth has limitations as far as file sizes. So if you're doing something like a, uh, a video, a large video, you might get stuck. So that didn't really work out too well. So that's when I got into thought about FTP and um, it's kind of complicated if, to think about if you've never dealt with it before but the purpose of my video that I'm making is to show you step by step how to do it so it's not complicated so the first thing you're going to need on each one of your devices uh, that you want to do this and I got these two Android devices um, is you need to have that ES File Explorer on it. So you can get that at the Play Store. It's the only thing you'll need. Now, both of my devices currently, at this moment, are connected up to my home wireless network, the Belkin that you can see there, and my phone is too. But like I said, we're going to be in the middle, middle of nowhere, not going to have our network available to us, so we have to somehow network just between these two devices. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to establish uh, a hotspot um, from the tablet. And this might also be called Wi-Fi tethering, you might know it as. And the reason I'm establishing the hotspot from the tablet and not the phone is because my phone is a Verizon phone. And Verizon does not allow you to do Wi-Fi tethering uh, unless you purchase that and I don't have it purchased and I really don't want to 
So I wanted to, to find a way around that. So I can't establish my tethering from my phone. Verizon has that locked down. But Verizon has no holds on my phone, on my tablet. Uh, so I can do my Wi-Fi tethering here. Um, so to do the Wi-Fi tethering, you're going to do all this stuff that I'm going to show you right within ES File Explorer. It has everything you need. But before we get into the technicalities of this, I'm going to show you what our goal is. And our goal is to move files from this phone over to that tablet. And the files I have are on my 32 gigabyte external SD card that I have in my phone here. And I put them in this directory, you can see the path up there, which is just called files. And I have four files in there. These are the files that I want to get over to the tablet. Let's turn the tablet back on, it timed out. And I'm going to show you in my files over here where we're going to put it. We're going to put it in the documents folder where I have nothing right now. We're going to come back to this later and you're going to see how we're going to have these four files over there. Okay. The first thing we have to do is establish that Wi-Fi hotspot connection between these two devices. And our Wi-Fi hotspot is going to be hosted by the tablet, like I mentioned. We're going to open up ES File Explorer. When you open up ES File Explorer, uh, I'm going to get back to the home screen. Home page. Okay, we're on the home page. This is what you're going to see. If you hit the little menu thing up here in the corner, up comes a menu, and then the last thing on that menu, next to the last thing, is it says Net Manager. Click on Net Manager. Whoop, I clicked on the wrong thing. Net, i got to open up the network group again, and Net Manager. Okay, this brings up my Network Manager within ES File Explorer. And it's telling me right now that I'm connected to my home Belkin router. I want to exit out of that. We're not going to have that with us. What I'm going to do next is create hotspot network. So I'm creating my own network here. Hit network there. And it's going to come up and it's ready to go. This is my hotspot network. And uh, the reason it's ready to go is because I had previously set this up. And I'm going to show you how to set it up and a few options surrounding setting up. Pretty easy. Down at the bottom, you'll see settings. Click on settings. And you can see, uh, use a random name or use the system AP setting. Now, I think if you do a random name, then you probably wouldn't be able to have the device that you want to regularly connect up to it remember it because it's random. <laughs> so I want to give it a name so that I can have that over on my phone so next time I want to connect up I don't have to do much of anything it'll already know about it. So in order to s do the settings AP settings which I believe stand for access point settings I'm going to give it two items in here. The name that I want to call it, and I called mine Tab 3, uh, because this is my Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, <laughs> and also gave it a password. I just gave it a password of password, just to keep things simple. So you'll, you'll see that. All right, now that that's set up, and we got it running over here, okay, we're going to jump over to our phone. In the phone, we're going to open up ES File Explorer. And within, uh, actually, I take that back. We want to go to our Wi Fi settings on our phone, which you should already know how to do. Get into your Wi Fi settings and look for that tab three. It's going to do a scan, and uh, you'll see you found tab three there. So I'm going to click on tab 3. It says, do I want to connect? Yep. 
So it's getting its IP address and now you can see it's connected. Now if I had never connected up before, like I said, I had this already set up before, but if I hadn't, it would ask me for the password to connect up to that access point and you know it is password. We established that over there. So now that we've got this Wi-Fi hotspot connection established between these two things, we're ready to um, go on to our next step, which is to establish how we're going to communicate between these two. And we're going to communicate through FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol. And this is built into ES File Explorer. We have to decide at this point which one of these is going to be our server and which one's going to be the client. It doesn't matter which one you choose to do which, as long as you keep them straight. I'm going to choose to use my tablet as the server. Since it's hosting my hotspot, might as well use that as the server too. But like I said, you don't have to. Now to establish this, you're going to back out and you're going to go to that same menu we went to before. And in the drop down there, um, there's nothing here that says FTP server. Instead, they call it remote manager. So I'm going to click on remote manager. Now, um, we'll go into the settings on this screen so you can see. I've already got it set up, but we'll go back into there so you can see where you can give it some options here. For example, you can tell it that when you're done, you want it to, to close the remote manager down when you exit ES File Explorer. That seems like a good setting to leave on. You can also tell it what port you want it to use. Five is my favorite number. So I chose to make my port 55555, or five fives. And you tell it what root directory you want it to use. And also, you can manage the account. In other words, if I were to click on that, which I'll do just to show you, you can go in and you can establish a username and a password for anybody that wants to connect up to this remote server, uh, this FTP server, or remote manager. But I chose not to do that. I chose to leave it at anonymous, so no one has to do anything. Because I'm, I'm the only one using it, so why do I need a, a password? Uh, so there's the settings. I'm going to back out of settings now, and I'm actually going to turn it on. Now it's turned on, and as you can see, it gave an IP address. So I'm going to go now over to my phone, which is going to be my client, open up ES File Explorer, and I want to go to that menu that we talked about before, and there's an option there that says FTP. I'm going to click on FTP, and as you can see, it's a blank screen. If I had uh, previously established a, a client-server relationship, which is what I'm showing you how to do. If I had already previously done it and established that, then we'd see that server there, and we'd just be able to, we'd be in. But I don't have it, because I want to do that purposely so I could show you how to establish a new server. We're going to click on New at the bottom here. What do we want? We want FTP. And here it's going to ask us our server. And the server is simply, back over here, the 192.168.43.1. I'm going to type that in. So now I've got my server address in there. Now I've got to have my port. And if you remember, over on the tablet, when I set up my port address, I told it I wanted it to be five fives because that's my favorite number. And I also told it I didn't want a username or password. I made it anonymous. So now I can hopefully connect up here. Hit OK. 
it's adding the server and you can see there's our server right there and now um, if I wanted to which I'm gonna do I'm gonna open up that server and now I'm into the um, file structure of my tablet over here I'm actually looking viewing just as if I was in uh, Windows Explorer on a PC I'm looking at the file system that's on my tablet but I'm doing it from another device and I had said that our goal here is to get things from our phone over to our tablet so I have to now look at the files on my phone and that's going to be called local. We're going to go back to that menu that we've gone to before. And you can see local up there. And one of the choices there is external SD card. I'm going to click on that. And there's that files directory. I said it had four files in it. Those are the files that I want to get over to my tablet. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but up towards the top, you can see the little blue rectangle there that has the word local in it and right next to that I know it's going to be hard to see because it's real tiny it says FTP looks like a little computer screen and then it's got a little house there for for home that tells us what we're looking at at any given time we're looking at our local machine here or my phone but if I simply swipe now it switched over to FTP so I'm looking at my FTP server which is my tablet over here so well it's very easy from this point and I could swipe again and get to my home page if I wanted to but I want to get to my local and I want to select these files just hold them down and you see I've brought in the little uh, squares there where you can put check marks in them I'm going to check everything that I want to copy over so I've checked those four files and then at the bottom you'll see copy so I'm going to hit copy and now where do I want to copy them to I want to copy them to that FTP place it's over here looking at my FTP server and where do I want to put it I want to put it in that documents folder that I showed you earlier that was empty so I'm looking at that documents folder and I'm at the bottom here hit paste and as you can see it's copying the files one after the other there it goes it stalled for a minute because uh, my uh, tablet had, had timed out it shut it shut off so I had to I hit the power button to turn my tablet on and that got it kick started again. But now all the, those four files are back over on our tablet. And to show you how that worked, we're going to go back to the My Files thing, click on that, and voila, there are our four files. So I thought this was a pretty cool thing. Uh, I hope you like it. Um, I, I did a lot of research on this, uh, tried a lot of different things out before I got this uh, set up. It, I thought it was kind of confusing, so um, I hope that you're glad that I shared this with you, and I hope you get some use out of it, too. Uh, have a good day, everybody. Good luck with it.